Hello and welcome to creating a Flappy Bird clone, lesson 4. We have set up our core gameplay. We have our player who is weaving around the obstacles. However, visually the game is very unappealing. It is a bunch of boxes moving around. So we are going to fix that, so to speak. The first thing we want to do is make our player look better. Because that's what most of us will be focusing on. I'll be using Flyer. Here we go. And first of all, this is a sprite sheet, several sprites. So multiple, and let's go to Sprite Editor, apply. So this is a four by four, so slice by cell count, four by four, slice, there we go, apply. And the first thing we want is the flapping. So this, so the first four frames are for flapping, the next four are for gliding. Let's have the, fl uh, the flapping for now. Drag drop, and let's go call this animation flap. By default, I think the spray is a bit too big. So I'm just gonna go into flyer, change it to 200, apply more manageable. Now, instead of uh, changing this, all I want is to take this animator, right click, copy component, give an animation component and an animator component to this, so miscellaneous animator, and paste component values. And when we press play, there we go. So we can remove this. Of course, we don't know how this will look like in action, so let's quickly change the default sprite, like this. There we go. Now, the collider is different. Instead of making it a square, I'm going to make it circle. So remove component, add component, physics 2D, circle collider. Pretty large, let's make it smaller, so the radius is much smaller, and a bit of an offset. So over here, a bit higher perhaps. And smaller a bit. There we go. Now let's test this out. Okay, it works. However, as I said, we're, we have two animations. We have the flapping and the gliding. But how do we add the second animation if we already have one animation in the animator? This is quite simple. Because if we go to here, the animator component, we currently only have flap. We only have flap over here. And the animator is basically an animation container. It has it hosts all the animations a certain object can have. For now we have flap. So if we want to have two animations, we just create a new one. So I'm going to click this, click these four, Right click, create animation. And I'm going to call this animation glide. Glide. There we go. Now I can just drag and drop, and there we go. We have a new animation. In fact, I want this to be the default one instead of flap. Let's so right click, set as layer default state. And when we press play, we've got this. However, the animation is not playing. And this is because of this. When you create an animation by selecting here and then creating an, creating an animation, you run into an issue that by default, the animation does not loop. And to make it loop, you have to have loop time. So glide, let's give it loop time. Press play. And there we go. However, we still want to have the two animations. And to do that, we're going to go into the player controller. Okay. In the player controller, first of all, we want to access the animator because the animator handles the animation. So public animator anim semicolon. Let's save this. Save all. Let's go to our player. And 
here we go we have animator drag drop everything is fine let's continue next we want to play the animation every time we hit the up button so to do that we go over here anim dot play and we reference it by name the name being flap there we go file save all let's try this out so gliding and flapping however it is repeatedly uh, showing us the flapping animation even though we only want it to happen once there's an easy fix to this without using code we go here and we create a transition between flap and glide so right click make transition glide and whenever this flap is done well playing it will automatically do a transition by default unity tries to blend the two animations creating a very weird effect this is mostly a problem with 2d animation to fix this we go here we make this as small as possible we move glide over here and there we go everything is fine so let's try this again there we go and now our player is gliding and flapping uh, before we finish off with our player uh, one more thing I'm just going to create one third animation called dead and it can just be one frame this is going to be an animation we'll call it dead enter go to the animator add it and of course when our player is dead we just switch so dead file save all glide flap glide flap and dead there we go next let's make the obstacles a bit more appealing because right now it is just these two to fix this of course we are going to import this called pillar 2 and spike so of course we're going to change its import settings because by default it's a little large so let's just change this to 200 200 enter apply there we go it's almost the perfect width we can edit it if we want and there is the spike so first of all we have the pillar and we want the box collider because it is from our perspective it's box shaped so physics 2d box collider next we also want the spike on top because on one hand it also it uh, covers up the imperfection second of all it makes the game look a bit better so let's put this on change the import settings 200 apply make it a child zero out this and we can move it up a bit like so there we go now an obstacle segment we're going to get rid of the first pillar and attach this one so of course we're going to zero out it horizontally and change this vertical setting so now we know our player will collide with the pillar however our player won't collide with the spike however the spike is triangular and as we've seen before there is box and circle for the spike we're going to use polygon collider and by default it will try to replicate the shape perfectly of course since this is pixel art with a uh, you know blocky bits the polygon collider will screw up a bit however we're not going to spend too much time trying to fix it because it'll work as it does we're going to duplicate the pillar we're going to make it upside down so scale vertically is negative one and we are going to move it up like so we'll get rid of this original pillar and i'm going to apply 
I'm going to remove this obstacle segment and we'll test how this works out. And there we go. We have a bit of a challenging gameplay due to the limited a space to, you know, fly through. And the collision seems to be working. And uh, that'll be it for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day.